Okay, I'm going to try and explain how to pan and zoom and hold your image still so that the zoom doesn't continue to scroll on you so that your image will stay absolutely still. When you go into pan and zoom, which I'm already in here with a photo in here, hit pan and zoom and then hit animated. The first frame is zoom is zero, horizontal zero, and vertical zero. If you go to the end, your preset automatically zooms in and out. It's a preset. Um, static small zoom, and then there's all these other pan left, pan right. If you go to default, you've got zero at the beginning, and then you've got the default at the end. Okay, that's static. Go back to animated. Go to the end, the beginning rather, you got all the way zeros. Go to the end, change them all to zero. Zoom zero. Horizontal zero. Vertical zero. Okay, find where, if you want to go to the frame four second and you want to zoom in, let's zoom in to say something real close here. You can see the preview over there. The window isn't very big. I wish that was bigger. That's 97. Let's make it. 95 just for easy okay and then say you want to end that at seven seconds so you got a three second pause here just change the zoom to 95 now if you play it back from the beginning you'll notice how the zoom changes and it stays perfectly still at 95 now that's great if you want to go from the beginning to the end at you know no zoom, no horizontal, no vertical. If you want to change it say at two seconds and you wanted to get these flowers involved in it over here then you zoom it over to here. Now the problem that that causes is when you go to your three second delay you can see the horizontal and vertical are still changing. To do that go to where you want your zoom to start hit one step frame forward okay you see where your horizontal and vertical have changed just simply click zero vertical zero and then you've got it to hold it again so if you look at the preview window here's the beginning of it again almost at the beginning it goes up to the right and then comes back to where we want it to stop and it stays completely still and then it goes to the static ending where it's a preset. Now, let's say you want to go past here and you don't want it to end back at the original point where it was. So let's say you want to add something, oh, say here, and you want it to go over this way this time and, and zoom over here. Um, you can change the, let's do this here. Let's get on this timeline and we'll just change this white and we'll have it zoom up to the top over here okay now what you're gonna get is you're gonna get the same thing again where it's not sitting still here where you have your pause simply go to where it was ending and then go back step one frame backward and we got 95 0 on horizontal 0 on vertical and you've written a program basically to make the zoom stop and the horizontal stop where you wanted it to pause. It still goes up to the right, comes back down on your zoom, stays perfectly still. No, it didn't stay perfectly still, did it? Here, hang on a second. What do we got? We got a problem here. Zero. Ah, there's the problem. That didn't go, I didn't change that to a zero. Okay. There it goes. Now. It stays perfectly still. And then it goes up and then it comes back down. And you can change anything over here and it won't affect this. Um, if you go to here on the timeline and you want to come back down here, it, it still shouldn't change anything.
goes up to the right comes back down where we want it to stop stops for three seconds goes to the top goes down to the loop and then you can put it at the end wherever you want to but that's how you make it pause you have to have if you're going to change the horizontal or vertical position you have to put keyframe keyframe exactly the same keyframe keyframe exactly the same and then this area in here will stay static it won't move zoom horizontal or vertical and that's how you do it you morons didn't you figure that out yet goodbye